We're doing a workout today specifically for women over 50, but of course this can be helpful for anyone. So as we age, what we're gonna do is address a few specific components. One is balance in this workout. Another is our strength, which is gonna help prevent osteoporosis. And the last thing is we're gonna keep in mind some of the hormonal changes that happen. So I am personally 42, if that helps you get a little bit of perspective. I have had a hysterectomy, so I understand some of those changes that occur. And I'm a physical therapist, so I'm gonna bring all of that together to give you a great workout. We are gonna use some light hand weights, but if you don't have anything between one and five pounds, just grab some water bottles or some cans of beans and that will work great, okay? So we're gonna start standing. Check down at your feet, make sure that they're hip distance apart. That's where your hip points are in the front with your toes facing forward. And I want your palms in front of you facing up, holding your weights, and you're gonna lift your arms up and down, okay? So that's an exhale and an inhale. So from the side, this is what it looks like right here. So we're doing this little scooping motion with our arms. So one thing I really want you to keep in mind as women, as we age, my intention is to keep moving, right? That is why I work out, is I am putting an investment into my bank account of movement and health so that I can keep running after my kids. I can play on the floor with my grandkids. I can be independent getting on and off an airplane and lifting my luggage into the overhead bin. That is my goal long term. So I want to keep moving. I want to keep feeling strong. I want to have fun and feel empowered in my body. That's what I'm hoping to give you today. Okay, one more. And down, nice job. Now what I want you to do is bring the left foot forward and the right foot back. And if you need some balance close to a wall or a chair, that is fine. What you're gonna do is go down into a lunge and bend your elbows as you come up. Okay, down and up. So if this is a new movement to you, I just want you to drop the weights and just do the lunge motion holding onto the wall, okay? So really important to work our balance as we age as well. Help prevent those falls, okay? And then by adding the arms, it's just a little more of a challenge. And again, it's really important to use some weights during the week to help prevent osteoporosis. Okay, last two and one. Nice job. We're just gonna switch feet, right foot forward, left foot back. Nice long stance. So you want a really wide stance with your legs. We're gonna come down and up. So as women, we do have some specific needs, but all of these workouts tend to work for both genders, okay? Men are gonna benefit from this workout, and there's quite a few male workouts that we as women will benefit from. You don't need a specific workout for women. That being said, workouts like this that take into account our specific needs can be nice just to make sure that you feel safe and strong as you're moving your body. Okay, last two. And one, nice job, come forward. And you can tell if you hear my voice, I'm already getting a workout here, okay? So you probably are too. So we're gonna have hip distance apart again with our feet. Our arms are gonna come here. So I have my elbows bent and my palms are facing each other. And I'm lifting my arms to the side and in. So we're starting standing and we are gonna get down on our mat here soon because a full workout is going to help you in many different functional positions standing kneeling sitting down on your back all of those different positions okay four more sit up or stand up nice and tall and if standing just isn't possible do these in a chair no big deal okay nice job we're gonna go ahead and put the weights down and just have them close to the mat because we might use them again, but you're gonna stand back up for me for one more thing standing. I want your feet now shoulder distance so they're a little wider with your toes turned out slightly, arms in front, and I want you to sit back and down into a squat and back up. 
So arms come down and then arms press. So from the side, here I am. And again, hold on to a chair or a counter or the wall as you need to. Okay. Nice job. Feel like you're sitting back and down into a chair. So your tush goes back behind you. So all of these are really good movements, especially as we age. To stay strong, to stay balanced, keep our posture, right? Last two, last one. Come up nice and tall, your arms are behind you and I want little pulses of your arms here. Keep standing up really tall from the back of your head. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. And we're gonna come down onto the mat. So you're gonna find yourself on all fours and I'd like you to find that weight again, just one of them or water bottle, whatever you have. So we're gonna have hands underneath our shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. And you're gonna bring your left elbow up to your side and press the hand back and in. So you'll notice just being in this position on all fours is a workout in and of itself. It's one of my favorite positions to move in and exercise in because it really brings the core in without having to do a single crunch. It's working the arms, it's working the hips. Okay, last two. Nice job. Bring it down and go ahead and switch to the other side. So the elbow comes up to your side and you press it back and in. Think about gently pulling that pelvic floor and low belly in. It's almost like you're trying to pull the belly button to the spine. Just nice and gentle. Your spine is long. Three, two, one. Nice job, bring it down, set the weight down. We're gonna find ourselves on all fours again and reach the left leg back, point the toes, lift it up and down. So see how straight you can keep that leg behind you. These exercises are also safe in general for prolapse, which I have experienced for a very long time and which can become more prevalent as we age, as we lose estrogen in our body. If we have a hysterectomy, we're more prone to have a prolapse. So you can know that these exercises are gonna be safe in general for that, but always listen to your body, okay? Stop if you need to, if you feel any pressure. Good, come in, switch legs. Feel like you're pressing away from your hands. If you're feeling a lot of wrist pain, that's actually a general indicator of weakness in our upper body. So as you get stronger in your upper body, that tends to decrease, but also make sure you're not locking out your elbows like this. I want your elbows just slightly bent. And last two, one, nice job. Knees in, sit back for a child's pose. And then restack your spine. And let's bring the legs in front of you and have your legs mat distance apart. Okay, pull the toes back towards you. So those of you familiar with my workouts might recognize this position. Just sitting here can be work if you are tight. So we're working on that posture, the back of the body especially, hip mobility. Then bring your hands behind your head, rotate to the left, come back to center, rotate to the right, back to center. 
So really important to keep the upper spine moving all through life, especially as we age. And this is safe for osteoporosis because we're not getting into the low back. We're just kind of working some gentle mobility in the upper back. But if you do have a diagnosis of osteoporosis itself, of course, always check with your doctor, do what's comfortable for you. Okay, last two. And last one, center. Nice job, arms come down. And you're gonna turn to the side into what we call a mermaid sit. So traditionally, this would be right foot back, left foot in front of you, called a Z-sit. If this is not comfortable for any reason in your hips because of total knee or total hip replacement surgery, you can sit cross-legged or just sit up on a box or on a step, okay? I'm gonna bring my arms out to the side. Inhale, tall. And then exhale, I'm gonna to go to the left. So left hand down, right hand reaches over. And come up to center. And then take it to the other side. Good, one more each side. So that nice, gentle side bend. You wanna think about keeping your body supple, right? That's what we're doing here. And then arms come down. We're gonna switch legs. So if you're cross-legged, just cross the other ankle on top. If you're seated, don't worry about it. Just stay there and we'll do this again. So now I'm gonna to go to the right first. So as we age and our hormones change, we do kind of lose some of that suppleness, some of that elasticity in our tissues. And so that's what I think of when I move. I wanna stay strong, that's really important. But I also really wanna maintain kind of that suppleness, that elasticity, I keep myself moving in these stretching and opening positions. Pilates is really nice for those things. Okay, arms come down, nice job. We're gonna lay down on our backs. So if you are, you can either just lay down on your back or I'm gonna have you do a roll down to get there. Legs together, arms in front, inhale. And exhale, curl your tailbone. Roll yourself down, one vertebrae at a time. Nice job. Bend your knees. So your feet are gonna be flat. Your legs are hip distance apart, inhale. Exhale, curl your tailbone. Roll yourself up. Inhale at the top, trying to find a flat line here from chest to knees, and then curl from the top and roll back down. Inhale at the bottom and exhale, roll again. So again, if you do have osteoporosis, you'll wanna check with your doctor on a movement like this, and you can always just lift up flat instead of rolling through your spine. But I find as a physical therapist for many, many of my clients, that rolling action is really important in general to help get fluid to the joints. But any questions you have, of course, you can skip that motion, change it, and go ask your doctor about that specific one. Nice, we're gonna get to the top and stay here. Now either continue with a few more bridges or if you feel okay here, keep your hips where they are, lift the right leg up, this is called tabletop, lower it down, left leg and lower. Nice. So I'm trying to keep my hips level and I'm trying to keep them lifted. Last two. Nice job, inhale and exhale, curl and roll back down. Hug your knees in, rock it side to side. An awesome job. Thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. 
like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You can also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.